Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. A lot of us, we go under the impression that this world is supposed to be easy. I'm not supposed to suffer. I'm not supposed to go through any difficulties. Allah's supposed to give me everything when I want it and exactly how I want it. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I want you to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create this world so you get everything according to what, when you want it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create this world as well for it to be la la land because you are in a test and that test in and of itself, it is meant for you to withstand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is holding away from you. And in that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not depriving you rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you whether it's in this world or in the akhirah now we need to understand that the ultimate goal is paradise now the world can be difficult but the reason why the world is difficult is so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms his reality and this is one of the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love has come into the heart of all of mankind is that Allah has made sadness and grief so common and inevitable to any individual, whether they are Muslim or not. And Allah has made rahmah and raja and hope and salvation. Allah has made that compulsory upon each and every single person to ask and to beg the question of where can I recline myself upon when things don't go right. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells in Surah Fatir, وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَذْهَبَ عَنَّا الْحَسَنِ إِنَّ رَبَّنَا لَغَفُورٌ شَكُورٌ The only thing that you will say and the only thing that the people of Jannah will say is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in the Quran. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ Those who are admitted into paradise, they will say, الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ All praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. الَّذِي أَذْهَبَ عَنَّا الْحَزَنِ Who has annihilated sadness. الَّذِي أَذْهَبَ عَنَّا الْحَزَنِ There is no more sadness. إِنَّ رَبَّنَا لَغَفُورٌ شَكُورٌ Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the oft forgiving, the most generous to his servants. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a sahih hadith from Abu Huraira radhi Allahu ta'ala an, inna sil'at Allahi ghaliya, ala inna sil'at Allahi al-janna. Indeed, the merchandise of Allah is so expensive, it's so priceless. Indeed, that merchandise that is so priceless, which matters most to each and every single one of us, is Jannah. So brother and sister in Islam, I want you to understand that if you live your life with the impression that life is supposed to be la la land, and you're not supposed to go through difficulties as a mu'min, you are meant to go through difficulties. Because if you were to simply have Jannah in this world and everything is supposed to be perfect, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that you will not even worry about the akhirah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protecting you from the shubuhat, the doubts and the fitnas and the trials and the dis dis disastrous desires that exist that would abduct you away from the eternal best of the akhirah, which is Jannah, Jannah al Firdaus, insha'Allah, in replacement of you being victim and destroyed in this dunya. And a perfect example of this is Fir'aun, who wished to be the greatest thing that has ever happened. And he did not receive the calls of Allah that were sent to Musa, alayhi salam. So Allah Azza wa has kept him as a sign for the one who seeks the dunya and what his fate would look like. And the one that seeks Allah and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us steadfast. Allahumma ameen.